So hello guys and welcome back to our course about building a successful clothing brand. So in today's class uh, we are going to identify uh, the right target audience. So until now you are supposed to have identified all the needs in your market, uh, created your business plan or having a clear idea of how you will create it and know exactly what you will put in it. And uh, now it's time to identify your right target audience and to who you will sell your products. Um, so how to identify it? Before we start, it's very important for you to understand what is a target audience. So target audience, it's, um, it's really like the audience to who you will sell your product. All the people who will buy the product from you uh, well, a particular type of people that will buy the product from you will be your target audience. For example, the the main part, the majority of people who are buying the products from you, your products, are, let's say, people are men between the age of 20 to 30 years old who are, let's say, single and make an income of $100,000 per year. So this is a clear target audience. Uh, you can make it even clearer. So that's the definition of, tar of target audience. It's really a, a mass of people who are looking for who, who will be ready to buy your product or who, or who will be interested to buy your product because it's their type of product. So how to identify it? Honestly, there is no perfect way to identify it. And sometimes it's very very hard to find but when you find it well you know you, you can create all your marketing around this this target audience know exactly what their interests are and know exactly how to sell to them but the hardest part it's is really finding them so to find them we can discuss about five principal things that we will look for the demographics, the psychographics, the lifestyle, the buying habits, and the, the consumer needs of those people. So, um, when we're writing down our target audience description, well, because at first we want to describe them as perfectly as possible, the first thing we're going to talk about is the demographics. So, in demographics, we can include the age, the gender, the profession, the income level, and uh, for example, if the person is single or married. Um, so that's for the demographics. Uh, you will have, like, for example, you wanna, if you wanna select a certain mass of the population, you wanna know the age of uh, the people to who you will sell your product for. Because if you sell your product to people aged between 10 years and 15 years old, you're not gonna make the same marketing and the same promotion that if you're selling your products to people who are aged between 20 and 25 years old. Uh, same thing if you want to focus on people who have a certain profession. For example, you want to sell a product that is specifically for doctors because on the t-shirt it's written down, I am a doctor. For example, um, you will have to make a promotion in another way. You will not sell it the same way as if you sell the product to people who are, for example, engineers. Um, same thing, gender. You will not sell a product the same way to a man that you sell it to a woman. So that's for the demographics. Uh, second thing, psychographics. So here we're talking about the values, the attributes, uh, the belief system, and the, all those uh, little things. So, for this example, for, for you to understand better, um, it's more if you want to have a diversified uh, consumer base. For example, let's say you want to sell a t-shirt. If you start putting hate signs on your t-shirt and, uh, I don't know, things that can hurt the feeling of the mass of population, it's not going to work and you will not make sales because it goes against values and the belief system of the majority of people uh, so let's say let's take once again the example of our t-shirt with some boats with big pictures of boats in it on it or flowers for example so let's say you're selling this t-shirt here in canada or in the us uh 
there is no problem and people will probably buy it because flowers can represent let's say bees can represent uh, i don't know traveling the tropical flowers can represent uh, yeah more traveling and more uh, s summer vibe but let's say you're trying to sell this t-shirt in another country a country x once again it's just an example an extreme example um and you didn't make your researches about values and belief systems of, of this country and you finally find out that this country uh i don't know thinks that t-shirts with flowers is uh, something that is like a problem and goes against their value system once again it's an extreme example and uh, it doesn't really happen but f f with flowers but you get the point so you have to make your research about the values and belief systems because sometimes you can create something and try to sell it but you don't know what you don't know is that it can hurt someone else in another country because they have a different value system or belief system and because of that something that can be normal for us here will not work in another country third thing the lifestyle so the geographic location here we go are going to look about at the, the geographic location the activities that the pace the person is making if the person is traveling or not <coughs> so you are not gonna sell the same product for a person who lives in canada or the u.s that you're gonna sell uh, to someone who's living for example in uh, china or japan because they are they don't wear the same things the fashion is not the same for both countries so you really have uh uh, have to know where your where your perfect uh, but well where your perfect cons consumer lives and really focus on this geographic location and don't try to sell like in hundreds of countries when you just started because it's it maybe will not work uh, understanding what are the activities of the person of your perfect target audience for example are they usually staying home watching netflix or are they making a lot of activities outside are they like more making sports or they go to restaurants what or what type of uh, like for example activities are your target audience is your target audience doing and uh you can also for example activities you can look at are they traveling or not uh fourth thing buying habits so here we can talk about brand loyalty um are they really into price uh, for example of price fluctuation if you put your prices higher or you always have to put discounts on your product are the those people really receptible to all this or no for example let's uh, take someone who buys uh, only buys nike he doesn't buy another sports brand he only buys a nike so this person is really really uh brand loyal are all uh, nike consumers really brand loyal maybe not but the majority are if they have to choose between adidas and nike they will choose nike because uh, they know the brand they tried the brand and they don't want to change that's for the majority of people like are you is your audience really into brand loyalty like will you be able to build a brand loyalty around your brand or your brand will be just a piece of clothing that they will wear that's where you have to think about that your clothing is an image for example let's say a person buys a piece of cloth just to wear a piece of cloth that's one thing but if a person buys a piece of cloth to like show a certain image that's another thing for example i if you buy a jeans you buy a jeans just to wear a jeans you will like yes you will like a nice jeans and uh, that's it you will try to pay the less possible but if someone buys a jeans to show an image he will try to buy a jeans that has a brand that this brand we can clearly see it and it will not really matter the price he will pl he will more matter what's the brand of the jeans because his goal is yes is to dress to get dressed but also to show a certain image so that's where you have to look at the buying habits of people uh, after that consumer needs that's exactly the same thing that I talked to you a bit earlier why it's to understand why people are buying your product why what is their goal behind buying your product is it simply to get dressed 
or they want to buy your product to do something not greater but uh, to do like something more for example for their image like someone let's say someone's buying a product and uh, well he's not only buying the product to wear it he's wearing it for a uh, to, to have a better image that's why also the price for your product is the price too expensive are your consumers or your target audience ready to pay more for your product or no if they are fine you can put your price up if not well it's maybe not a good thing because you will lose all your target audience so that's why it's very important to understand your consumer needs and what is their main goal when they're buying your your piece of clothes is it to save money is it to show an image is it uh, to get uh, to be part of a certain group or is it just uh, getting dressed so that's why you have to understand all those uh, five things to identify your target audience why I what I suggest you personally is to write down the description of each of those uh, little factors and uh, when it's done you will have a a bit more better idea of who is your target audience and this way you will able to create a special marketing well a special promotion for those people so that's it for this course and uh, see you guys in the next class where um, we're gonna talk a bit where we're gonna talk a bit more about uh, printful and how to design clothes on this app